Kanye West said he loved Hitler so much that he had Alex Jones pushing back on him. Here are some of the 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 moments, the highlights. So we're gonna. I gotta watch. I gotta watch uh, my accounts because they're been frozen by the Jewish uh, banks. So I, I need to watch my mills. Well, CNN says why people are evil Nazis. So I mean, I I, I disagree with both statements, but I get the yeah, frozen. I don't, I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. I think we need to look at. <laughs> Statements, but I get the yeah, Trojan. I don't, I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. I think we need to look at. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just because you don't like one group doesn't mean the other. But look, it's I, fine. Bro, you got Alex Jones being like, come on, come on. Ah, Nazis are bad though, right? And he's like, no, Nazis are good actually. Like he's like, no, shut the f up. When you are to the right of Alex Jones on the Nazi shit, because Alex Jones knows, he knows how to do propaganda. He knows he can't go that far it's done i've never seen anything like this like how the f did this happen like one group doesn't mean the other but look like i mine. love jewish people but i also love nazis <laughs> <laughs> oh man well i have to disagree with that right, but listen we're gonna go to break i'm 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 the i'm the crazy one here we're all crazy the whole world <laughs> he's like he's like, he's like oh, i'm the crazy one here yeah bro yeah yeah, Alex Jones knows endorsing Nazis is a bridge too far in the agitated propaganda toolkit. Yep, especially when your uh, worldview is so in line with what the Nazis believe. Bro, when Alex mother Jones successfully sued for defamation to the tune of billions of dollars for claiming that a mass shooting did not happen, is the sane one on the panel that it's over it's done it's done dude. world's crazy normans will look at this and go oh fuck i thought all these guys these libtars were being fucking pussies saying kanye's a nazi kanye's a nazi here he is straight up saying it it's done you will never recover from this he has to drop like graduation times a million to be able to fucking recover from this which i don't think he will be able to let's be fucking real the Balenciaga situation, you made a great point during a break earlier about how they just need a new devil, but that's a devil to distract us from the fact that we become the devil. And that's kind of what you said. Can you repeat that? Every form of pornography is only 10 years away from pedophilia. Anybody that's watching pornography, if you're watching a woman have sex on camera, what? she's reliving the trauma of being molested. Like a greater majority of women. What the fuck? Yo, he is aggro on the turf arc. Oh, swerf arc too. That's crazy. Bro, this is like, oh man, he's going to get some, he's going to get some swerfs on board. I swear to God, for the record, here's what happened. First of all, Pete Davidson fucking destroyed this man. But the moment that Kanye also talked about Donda, the moment that Kanye West literally shit on his own mom, which was like a couple months back, it was over. It was, he is going, he's going back on everything. That is literally way worse than anything else in Kanye's like moral compass. That was the greatest indication that it was done. Anyway, here, let's I don't hear anything so. from the ADL or anybody else. But for the ADL, I want to say there's a lot of good Nazis that were just fighting for their country. And for them all... Like George Soros. Uh, for them all to get put in a box. They're all in a box. Every Nazi's bad. Hey, yo, that's crazy. What? Bro, he said there were very fine people on both sides of World War II, okay? Well, could some of the Nazis have just been fighting for their country? Oh, they're all, oh, we can't, we can't put them all in a box. No, I get, you're, you're explaining that, like you said, you love the Zionists. You don't agree with some of the things they're doing, even though you don't support a lot of what's happening. Seriously, I've, I've really studied a lot of history. Plus, I had family that was there. And so, I mean, I, I don't think Hitler was a good guy. I get the, <laughs> uh, the Hugo Boss uniforms, amazing. Uh, but I mean, just because you're in love with design, you're a designer. Can we just kind of say, like, you like the, the you like the uniforms, but that's about no, it. No, we. This is him trying to literally fucking be like, come on, Kanye, just say that you like the designs. Like that's what it is, right? And Kanye's like, no, bro. We no. I, there, there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. I'm just gonna run that back. Okay, watch Alex Joe. Oh, that's it. It's done. Amazing. It's over. Uh, but I mean, just because you're in love with the design, you're a designer. Can we just kind of say, like, you like the you like the uniforms? But that's about no, it. No, we we no. I, there, there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. It says where the the phrase "all sins are equal in the eyes of God" comes from. As far as I can tell, the most common argument for the belief that all sins are created. Dude, I can't. 
I got to give a fucking shout out to the goddamn producers. The producers of the Alex Jones broadcast, like, they got some fucking B-roll in the pool, okay? They got a pool of B-roll, and they're unafraid to use it. And when Kanye's, like, talking about fucking Jesus and God and the Bible, they put this fucking B-roll up there. And you have to admit and recognize when someone is doing a good job. Okay, no matter who they are, no matter what they're doing, these guys, they're they're doing it. They're they're in the shop, they're cooking it up. Now, I'm a big fan of Steve Jobs, even though he did create Apple. And if you notice the logo of Apple is actually the fall of man, the forbidden fruit. The bitten apple. Right? So we can get into, you know, what what social media has done to families and all that. We can we got three hours, right? Steve ran his company. Bro, I swear to God, dude, the more the more you get into Christianity, the more insane you become. It's fucking insane, dude. You just start seeing Satan in every fucking corner, dude. And no, there are normal ways of practicing Christianity or Islam or whatever fucking religion you believe in, but this is not it. Dude. My ex-wife actually having a nude photo that I didn't know about that someone use her and put her on a magazine. But there's somewhere where she's like, well, if my husband is looking at this, I still want to be like the girls that are doing this. And this becomes people reliving the traumas, pushing the addiction, the pornography. And the thing I don't understand is like porn is like anything else. And I feel like all these like anti-porn evangelists, they're like the, the alcohol uh, abolitionists. It, this needs to stop. Like I can't deal with it on my own. So we got to just like stop everyone else from doing this shit. You're just like so upset. You're hyper obsessed with it, bro. It feels like that's a you thing. You should probably get help for that. It's fucking nuts to just behave this way. For OSS. And, and ran propaganda for the British government, but he found out that he didn't like Hitler, but he found out that they were actually manipulated and created him. He didn't like the communists. He'd been one of them. He found out that the British intelligence had, had actually created that and done that. And he explained in 1984 that pornography is something to destroy families, destroy our souls, and get us to commit. Uh, he, he wasn't even a big Christian, but, but, but get us to debase ourselves so that they could control us. Absolutely. He said George Orwell. I mean, George Orwell was, uh, he was definitely, from what I understand, George Orwell was definitely, I mean, he was an anti-fascist. So I think uh, Alex is not right about the entire conversation. But yeah, he wasn't exactly a uh, super fond of uh, Stalin for sure. So there is that. And he, he definitely did uh, snitch, I think, on Stalinists, no? George Orwell was like, <laughs> he literally took matters into his own hands with respect to fighting fascism. Okay, you're insane. Yeah, he fought in the Spanish Civil War against fascists. George Orwell was more of an anarchist, in my opinion. That's where that's where a lot of his issues come from. Thank you, Nar <laughs> Naruto AMV from 2007. My life, that year of German occupation. For me, it was a very positive experience. It's a, a strange thing, you know, because you see incredible suffering around you, and, and in fact, you are you are in considerable danger uh, yourself. But you're 14 years old and you don't believe that it can actually touch you. You have a belief in yourself, your belief in your father. It's a very happy-making, exhilarating experience. While hundreds of thousands of... By the way, for people who are fucking uh, question marking it, George Soros was literally a Jewish person in occupied Hungary. In the midst of all that, as a 14-year-old in hiding, you still, in spite of all of that awfulness, you still have what 14-year-olds have, which is hope. I cannot believe uh, I, I am like over here defending George fucking Soros over here. So it, it is, of course you defend Soros. No, fuck George Soros. He is a predatory vulture capitalist billionaire. Fuck George Soros for those reasons. But if you're going to fucking sit here and act like, uh, you know, a person who survived the Holocaust, a Jewish person who survived the Holocaust was actually working with the Nazis, you're a fucking freak. I've said it, the most Nazi-like activities I've seen, um, and, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs that shook people down to a lot of really bad things. But they did good things, too. We're going to stop dissing the Nazis all the time. Ha! Okay. We're, we're going to get to that. <laughs> Alex Jones is like, okay, we're going to get to that. Just shut the fuck up for now, please. Oh, my God, please stop saying that. Dave Chappelle is a hack, and he gets a lot of his jokes from Owen Benjamin. Oh, Dave Chappelle went on a Jewish... Whoa, he's coming after Dave Chappelle? Oh, shit, on the Alex Jones broadcast? That's wild, dude. What the fuck? Dave Chappelle said they dropped that nigga talking about yay, and he called me Kanye, 
and I'm supposed to be his friend. Dave Chappelle does not believe in God and does not believe <laughs> in Jesus. <laughs> These are the kind of black leaders that the Zionists put in front of us. And meanwhile, we want to knock Herschel Walker, but Herschel Walker. It's over now. There is a 0% chance that Dave Chappelle will not come after Kanye West. Well, hey, guess what? Dave Chappelle's no longer doing transphobic material no longer, so there's that. He'll make a dead naming joke about Kanye calling Kanye West uh, Kanye, and he'll tie that to, like, uh, you know, trans people for one moment, but then the rest of that is going to be all about how Kanye sucks. So... Going to deliver the real Nick, change Nick, I got a need. question. If I say something that's provocative towards the Mossad, is that misogynistic? Hold on, let's hear from that. <laughs> hey, yay, I'm the head of the Mossad. I'm going to kill you and take your children away from you. Thanks a lot, Netton. Back to you, Alex. Uh, please turn your phone microphone around, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm definitely uh, overwhelmed here right now. Um, Infowars.com, tomorrow's news today. Um, listen, all I'm trying to get through here is what? I believe every group should be able I to be friends. I switched his name to Netton. I dropped the, uh, the Yahoo so we didn't have to. I was tired of picking up the Yahoo and the Netton. So... For now, he's just netting. I know some people call him BB. I know some of you call him Yahoo, but we're gonna call him netting. What you want, netting? Hey, yay, right after this, I'm gonna say you're crazy. I'm gonna take your, your family away from you. We're not done. Bro, he thinks BB Netting Yahoo is like doing this, dude. He's so fucking insane. This is what Pete Davis' 10 inch dick does to a motherfucker? Okay, bro, I. Here's what this is, okay? This is a powder keg. It is a combination of the worst things that could have possibly happened coming together to happen. It's like internally his narcissism, his relentless conquest to like uh, diminish his circle of trust into the most sycophantic yes men. His, it's his mom passing away, which was his like last vestige that was holding him grounded to a certain degree. Even though if you look at all of the accounts, like even his mom was like kind of uh, always praising him, always hyping him up. It's his bipolar disorder. It's being surrounded by uh, a bunch of sick freaks who are, you know, taking advantage of his uh, mania. It's all of that over the course of multiple fucking years. Plus he's a shitty person. Yeah, exactly. I already said he's a, he's a major narcissist. So he has no check. He has no internal check to say, hey, maybe I shouldn't fucking bring out a net and do like a funny prop comic voice for Bibi Netanyahu. Like no one's in there. There's nothing in there, dude. There's no safeguard. There's no checks and balances internally. He's just stringing along manic episodes, tying them together. Wait, what? Laura calls in. Oh, no. What? Kanye West is hanging out with Laura Loomer. What the fuck? Bro! This man, just when I'm thinking there's no way he could have, there's no way he could have fell uh, further down the, the pit of despair that he's in. Oh my God. I guess he truly is a genius. Okay. He's a hardworking genius. He's the genius at showing everybody how fucking far one person can fall. One individual can fall. Speed run, dude. Absolute fucking speed run, brother. People aren't mad at Kanye West because he said the death con thing. As a matter of fact, people at that moment when he tweeted that were still like, hold on, let's hear him out. A lot of people were like, okay, maybe maybe it's like kind of fucked up that he said that. Probably, you know, I was one of those people that was like, no, he is anti-Semitic, I can tell you. And then there were people who were like, wait, let's, let's let him cook. Let's hear what he has to say. What is he going to say with this? As a matter of fact, like even Ben Shapiro was like alluding to that let him cook moment. And then he cooked. He cooked so fucking hard. He cooked way too much. He went full Nazi. And everyone was like, bro, stop cooking. You didn't kill anybody. You're simply here saying this and you're being demonized and attacked. And you're saying that that is, that is hypocritical. But well, that's what I'm trying to tell you. George Soros admits he went around rounding up Jews who thought they were being protected, stole their money and sent them to Nazis. What my point is, is that that's what the left does. They hide behind black people. They hide behind Jews. They hide behind groups and they use racial politics to control. And so I think that's the most important thing is to understand that. Alex Jones keeps trying to say like, come on, George Soros is the bad guy here, you know, because he collaborated with the Nazis or whatever, which is false. <laughs> Kanye was about to be like, oh, George Soros was with the Nazis. I like him now. <laughs> Like, he's lost the plot. He's trying so hard to be like, Kanye, come on, say something bad about George Soros instead. He's like a Nazi, right? And Kanye's like, no, I like Nazis, actually. I guess I like George Soros now, if what you're saying is true. <laughs> like...
Alex Jones is like one more George Soros mentioned away from Kanye promoting George Soros. Okay. They all come together under Christ. Also, they blackmail. Okay, go ahead about the Christ thing. I want to hear this. No, we can just, I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, I don't hate anybody because of their religion or, or their background. And there's great people from every organization. And I think George Soros can come to Christ. It is a possibility that he can convert and come to Christ. Would you meet with George Soros? <laughs> no! 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 I did not. What the fuck, dude? Seems like this George Soros guy has got some good ideas. <laughs> oh no, dude. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. You motherfuckers can't say pre watch. I was literally live when this interview was happening and then immediately drove a home and started the broadcast and started watching. Absolutely. I wouldn't meet with anyone. That's the whole thing. I know that I'm a child of God and I know Jesus died for us. This is the daily prayer written by my cousin Wayne. Yahweh God, thank you for life, health, and strength. You can skip this prayer. It's just a prayer and it's super long. Oh, dude, but the B-roll, though. Okay, the B-roll, though. For this reason that gave us... It is weird as fuck that, like, the, the Alex Jones uh, Infowars.com producers have this, like, have so much Jesus B-roll, bro. It's crazy. Blood for glory. It's super knowledge of who you are. Slow us down. Purpose. Better see. So we may find Yahweh God glorifying a deeper community. Because the whole world's crazy. Not all of us are nuts. This is this is Twilight Zone 2.0. We will be Don't right back. Don't me when you say that. No, I'm talking about all of us. The whole world's crazy. Dude. He's even about to get fucking mad. So there's two more hours of this. Does anyone else have this? Um, and I want to say it, initially it was a very pleasant dinner. Trump gave kind of the standard black voter pitch. He talked about the HBCUs, the Opportunity Zones, things like that. And I love how all of these guys are so fucking stupid and so one note with their analysis of the black vote. These guys are supposed to be the brilliant minds, dude. This guy won a fucking political race against Hillary Clinton, dude. Can you imagine? His understanding of American politics is like, oh, you're black. Black people will vote for you. That's crazy, dude. That is actually fucking insane. There is no further proof that Hillary Clinton is the biggest loser from this conversation. Like, Hillary Clinton lost to a fucking person who thinks Kanye West will be able to captivate the black vote. Love that. Um, yay. Which, by the way, why is Nick Fuentes saying the black vote? Because on his own broadcast, he calls it the N-word with a hard R uh, voting block. Well, that's the difference between Nick unhinged on his own broadcast versus Nick when he is on a larger platform. That's the kind of guy he is, and that's who Kanye's uh, best friend is that follows him around everywhere. Yeah, he got billions. And uh, this is something that was covered in the Wall Street Journal. Jared Kushner brokered the Abraham Accords with Netanyahu. And before Trump was even out of office, they were arranging for how Kushner could take a massive fee from him. Okay, but separate from Kushner getting money, I don't like Kushner. He glows in the dark. He's creepy as hell. Yeah, I don't, but I mean, that's a good peace deal to get the Arabs and Jews to quit killing him. Oh, he's so cucked, dude. Yo, Alex Jones is so cucked. Like, no, the Abraham Accords is good, actually. Uh, okay, dude. I mean, first of all, this motherfucker's a Nazi. He doesn't give a shit. He just does not care. Kanye West does not know what the Abraham Accords is. I will stake money on that. There is a 0% chance he knows anything about what that is. But it is, it is kind of dorky for Alex Jones, who used to be, like, the main contrarian, to just be like, well, you know, State Department's bad. There's psychotic pedophiles out there, but also, like... You know, it's really good when they did the Abrahamic Accords. <laughs> Each other. I mean, I, uh, but don't, I, and I agree with you to some extent. But don't, I mean, actually, that's a pretty. I always, I said that's something good Kushner did. I mean, I don't like Kushner, but he I mean, did it for the. Alex Jones knows where his bread is buttered. He knows that he has a massive evangelical Christian base, and evangelical Christians loved the Abraham Accords. Evangelical Christians in Texas absolutely love uh, anything that advances the ultimate cause that, in their minds, will it will help Israel wipe out everybody else, so that you know Jesus Christ can come back to Earth. We've gone over this a million times over. The money. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we got things. Done, yeah. And I would say I'm not defending him. I'm saying, isn't it good to try to get Middle East peace? Ask, let's ask Nick. Yeah, Nick, go ahead. <laughs> See, I told you, he has no idea. He's like, yeah, ask Nick. Because we need will and expertise. Well, let's talk about that. You say you're going to run for president 2024. I'm not, you know, Alex, you're really good at stating things in a way that you get you sued. So 
No, I thought you were, you're announcing for president, right? <laughs> no, I'm not announcing. Uh, uh, Alex, love you, love you, love you. What I'm saying with the conversation that we're having about fucking owned. All I'm saying is another guy went on Alex Jones's broadcast and that man became president. That's right. Donald Trump also went on the Alex Jones pro uh, bro blah, broadcast. But uh, yeah, Alex Jones, kingmaker, baby. But I wanted to bring in Owen Shorter and Ali Alexander who helped get you here for their take and any questions they've got for Ye because you guys have great questions, great comments. Uh, so Owen Shorter and uh, Ali Alexander. Oh, I'll, God. I'll hold my questions for Ye later. Oh my God, this panel, dude. Oh my God. Every moment where I'm like, there's no way Kanye falls further, right? His fall from grace has to hit a bottom at a certain point. Nope, I'm wrong. The well is fucking deeper than you previously imagined. Nightmare blunt rotation is putting this lightly. You got the most Amish man on the planet over here, the, the Amish Nazi, Owen Schroyer. You have the, the, the only brown man with Habsburg jaw, Ali Alexander, on the right every single person has been banned from social media platforms for saying deeply bigoted things okay every single person with the exception of kanye holy fuck dude it is whoo this is awesome this is great i'm telling you right now kanye west on like the most aggressive stack of like lithium would still be having a better day than being on this panel i'm just i'm, I'm just a little perturbed let yay speak let the man speak. You may not agree with what he has to say, but why don't you want him to speak? I don't get it. Same thing with Alex Jones. Why don't you want... Yeah, everyone's silencing Kanye West. That's why he keeps going on every podcast and, and then, like, self-quitting whenever they say, hey, man, it's kind of fucked up that you said, like, they when referencing Jews. Bro, he, like, who's who's stopping Ye from speaking? You know what I mean? Who is silencing him? Yeah, he just leaves the lobby, dude. He just leaves the lobby. God says love everyone. So if I say I love the Zionists that that cancel my account, then I can say I love, I, I did not consent. I do love Hitler. I do love the Zionists. I love everyone. The, the, the Zionists cannot tell me who I can love and not love. I don't think like that. I think more like someone that's on the spectrum since that's what they want to claim. Well, let me be on the spectrum of love because love- But that's a good t-shirt. I love Hitler. That's a bar. That's a bar. I'm joking. Loathing, and it's time to promote love. God. No, I hear you. Let's bring in Ollie Alexander, who helped get this done. Ollie, I've known you. Yeah, let's bring Ollie Alexander. Come on, Ollie. You say some crazy shit now. It's your turn. <laughs> years, but this is quite the broadcast. And I think that what Owen said is absolutely right. It's like you can look at this interview and you can be triggered. You know, you can engage your ego and say, Is anyone actually triggered by this? I don't think a single person is like legitimately triggered by this at this point. I think everyone's just like, y'all are a bunch of fucking losers, dude. It's like kind of funny. It's sad. I don't think anyone is like legitimately triggered by this. It's more so like old fans of Kanye feel sad about like his fall from grace. Like his demise has been so awful, right? Once someone like Kanye was basically says that they're like a Nazi, uh, there's almost like this weird... Like for me, I already knew. A lot of you in here already knew. But for a lot of other people, they were like maybe questioning it. So now that he said it, there's almost like this full, there is this realization. Like, okay, that's what it is. That's what's going on. It's almost like you are you have grief, but you also feel free. You know what I mean? For so many people, it is it is literally just like, oh, now it finally makes sense why he was behaving this way. Because a lot of liberals don't understand it. They need to hear someone literally say that they're a Nazi for them to like finally comprehend that they are. And Kanye West wasn't like uh, well equipped enough with the dog whistles to come out of the gates uh, swinging with dog whistles, and instead he just went out and and did the full bullhorn. Uh, Who said white cute. lives matter? Because I think you, I'm not put words in your mouth. You understood that they're trying to demonize white people to create a, a crisis and for us to fight with each other. I thought that was very true. I think all lives matter, but you went even stronger and said white lives matter. You got criticized for that. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I thought that I, I thought that that was my right. I felt that I I just exercise rights that are only uh, given to whites. A white person can wear a T-shirt that says Black Lives Matter, but for a black person to wear a T-shirt that says White Lives Matter. That somehow makes me racist. So I love just going up and. What? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, what? They want to dumb us down. And I'm probably the lowest IQ here of anyone speaking. And I'm saying 
say out loud what we feel, we would no longer be ran. Bro, trust me. First of all, no. Okay. No, the dudes you're next to are fucking Nick Fuentes and, and Alex Jones. Like, they're not exactly brilliant minds either. It is straight up like a race to the bottom. I haven't tweeted in so long, I hardly remember how this works. You guys doing a red shot for me? All right, so this is uh, Ye's phone here, and I just want to say I love... This is it. This is like when they have documented proof of fucking ban evasion. Remember, this is how Ela got banned off Twitter because uh, Ethan was on her phone and was posting... Love, L-O-V, the juice. <laughs> that true say that? It's true. I do love them. First... How do you say amendment? AMT? What's the abbreviation? Louie! Um, 525. Thank you for the tank of the subs. Cat yeah, I got lady. It. Kate, I love the first the amendment. The subs. Uh, long live. Yay. We gotta capitalize that, though. All right. I'm gonna tweet that. I love the first amendment. Long live. Yay. I hope. No, 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 no. We're gonna pray. No hoping. We pray. No, I, I pray. Uh -huh. Elon is for real no pray to god not to elon pray that god i pray to god i agree i'll say that i pray to jesus christ jesus christ say his name there's power there's strength in the name there's a point where he puts j in and jew and jewish pop up right away i mean he's probably been using those words a lot so yes that is definitely an understandable that is definitely an understandable autocorrect on kanye's phone okay I love the First Amendment. Long live ye. I pray to Jesus that Elon is for real. Bam! I'm back on Twitter. Back Woo! on Twitter, baby. <laughs> there you go. Dude, this is, okay, absolute fucking madness here, okay? Absolute fucking biblical levels of bananas. Still not banned, by the way. Still not banned, by the way. Oh, we give it to him now. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> 35 million or whatever it is followers. This is great ideas you're having, man. Yay. I, I have a few good ideas. I, I believe, let me talk for a second, don't cut me off. I have a few good ideas. I have ideas that surpass the idea of just being a black face for the Trump administration. Just being Elon's cool friend at a concert. I actually have real ideas, Tim Cook. I actually have real ideas. And I get marginalized into these places. And I understand, people are afraid of the truth. The best EQ on the planet. When I went to people like David Simon and Jamie Salter and all these Jewish businessmen, they would offer me things like. Banned. If Kanye isn't proof enough for you that without class analysis alone from any background, for you that without class analysis, anyone from any background can become a fascist, I don't know what will. He's right. I've talked about this for years at this point anti-semitism is what you arrive at if you are pro-capitalist but also experience the contradictions so frequently because you have to find a scapegoat you have to find like a, a group of individuals who are not operating at the behest of increasing their capital increasing their shareholder value increasing their marginal profit rate but instead operating at some like other reason like oh some evil shadowy reason and that's because uh you know there must be jewish and there must be a cabal or some shit like that when that's not the case it's just capitalism it has always been capitalism and it will continue to be capitalism i mean i've i've heard the take so many times that the anti-semitism is the is the uh stupid person's cap uh anti-capitalism or something like what is it the expression anti-semitism is the socialism is fools is a socialism of fools is widely attributed to the late 19th century german socialist august babel you, you recognize the contradictions you experience it even as a fucking billionaire you see it you see exploitation in every fucking record label contract and you can't figure out like where that's coming from because you're also been conditioned and positioned as a capital uh owner you've been conditioned into thinking that that's a good thing and that like that is the the morally right position uh, if you will right you're not going to be able to say oh this system that i've benefited tremendously from is actually the system that is at fault and it is by design that exploitation is occurring here so you have to think that there is literally some kind of secret society some cabal people that are doing something behind the scenes and who are you going to point the finger to of course you're going to 
point the finger to Jews. That's what everyone has pointed the finger to since like the beginning of history. This shit goes back, dude. It's like the oldest meme, dog. It's the oldest shit. It's like blood libel. You have to remember, most people can't run to, to his defense and go, oh, no, 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 it's not like that. Can you claim he's a Nazi? Is this 1938? Is he a part of the NSDAP? Uh, I think not. Why are you calling him a Nazi? You can't say that when he openly says he's a Nazi. He was too stupid to like uh, use dog whistles 